So, um, I'm recording this before what is now last week's Kubera video has even gone live. Because, uh, I want to read more. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the desire to read has overpowered my, um, ability to wait. And also, next week I have a lot of stuff for you need to do. So recording in advance is, uh, a good thing for you guys, because it means you won't miss a week. And it means if I'm a week ahead, I, then I'm not as rushed for the week after. So, uh, this is me justifying reading now and recording it so that I can definitely be ahead and not just scratch the itch in my brain to read more Kubera because I, it's, it's, it's really fucking good. For some context, I just finished recording, um, <clears throat> the ORV video as well. Um, they are. I, I, as if that gives you anything. If you watch my ORV read-throughs, you probably should, because I'm, like, really based and cool. But anyway, uh, if you're new, hit the sub button, notification bell, you know, cool stuff. Hit 500 before the end of the year, be bussing. Also, uh, well, actually, no, this will be out after my birthday. But by the time this is up, I'm 21 now. Happy birthday, me. Uh, from two days ago, because it would, would have been Wednesday of the week this went up. Anyway. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what the fuck was that intro? Uh, let's just go. Who is... <clears throat> oh, it's Claude. While you were gone, I developed a powerful sleeping pill that makes you fall asleep instantly. Oh, wait, no, this is Lila saying this. While you were gone, I developed a powerful sleeping pill that makes you fall asleep instantly. Even still, I managed to minimize, minimize the side effects to just one. Oh? What's that one side effect? Hair loss. No, Claude. No. Don't do it, Claude. Don't lose your luscious locks. He's just like me for real, for real, bro. Claude, I've seen you since you were little, and I know that it wouldn't do any good to tell you about being responsible and sacrificing yourself for the, ci for the city. But at least think of the lives of yourself and your sister. And escape while you still can. Escape? We're dead if we leave the city. We're dead if we don't fight. Well, there isn't really an option here. That's right. There's no option anyway. I just said that because I was hoping you might help at least a little bit voluntarily. I've been helping voluntarily this far. I'll continue to do so. But she wouldn't know that, would she? You conniving little shithead. You fucking schemy little bastard. I love you, bro. I fucking love Claude. He's so cool. Because he has. He's been scheming behind the scenes, doing little things here and there, pushing fate on its course, if you will. Guiding characters in such a way. Part 2, episode 153. You're just a some mine, 19. There's almost no one in the temple. Oh, well, there's definitely not actually saying that. There's almost no one in the temple. Everyone except the backup guard has gone to the turrets. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, maybe that... I don't, I, I don't know, whatever. What are you... You should be careful. Don't you know that hiding with Holy Chandra doesn't work on people with a sixth sense? There are some magicians with death attributes who have developed a sixth sense. That's why I always win at playing cards. Did you use Barvati Yama again? Very clever. Hiding somewhere safe and using other people's bodies to shield as you move to shi as shields to move around. <clears throat> it's very hard to tell who's speaking in this because of. Doesn't matter what you say. I'll do anything that I have in order to block this alley. Right now. You're still no match for me. That would be true if I only had one life. But I'll take another one if if this magician dies. What? I, I really don't know who's speaking here. I generally don't... This is a bit... I assume most of this is this woman here. If you keep fighting, you'll eventually trip up and end up getting caught and, caught and executed before Lila can get to you. This Bavariyama spell really is powerful. If you use it... If you use it without considering the person's body that you're using... Decide wisely. This will be over if just one of the remaining Kubera die anyway. And there's another Kubera aside from Lila. Yeah. In the city right now, I had a feeling given that Lila was hiding her name. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to <clears throat> Lila to end up being a sacrificial lamb. 
I have no intention of getting in your way if you just leave this place, so... Alright. Then I'll change my target. Hmm? Uh, huh? You sure gave in easily. Why would you go through so much trouble this whole time when you can change your mind so easily? Anyway, good luck! I... Don't think your way of doing this is all that bad. Stomping on and killing others for the sake of your own goals is natural in the Sura world. <clears throat> Who is this? Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is she? Like, what? Who are you, woman? Straight up, like, for real. Who is she? I do not know. And it worries me. <clears throat> the only thing you've done wrong is being born in the wrong place. I understand. <laughs> You say that you understand me, and yet you treat you treat me worse than a human. So what? It's already too late for you for you or I to be treated like humans. Who are you? Avadiyama, you so this clearly isn't whoever was talking this body. This this is somebody else's body, I assume a possession of sorts. What? Good luck! I've got my fingers crossed. Claude. Claude. <sighs> Lazy bones. I just left the room for a minute <clears throat> to go and do something and you took a bunch of sleeping pills. Asura still hasn't appeared for me to use Bavari Yama on. Lila. Hmm? We're here to deliver this message from Saha. Oh. Viewed as alive in this transcendental attack. He's either with that Sura who's dodging that turret's attacks or... <laughs> I'm not desperate, you are. I'm not desperate, you are. I'm not desperate, you are. <laughs> you found me quicker than I expected. Well, I guess since this mountain is the only thing still standing, it would have been stranger if you hadn't found me. Bro, it should have been me. Should have been me, not him. <laughs> Uh, there's only- there's no limit to my degeneracy. Sagara. Did you come for this? Well, I'm not giving him to you. It should have been me! <laughs> right, I'll try and come. <laughs> I'll try. No promises. But, uh, just before, let me just indulge in- I mean, just look at- you know, I've got some of my shoulders. Oh. <sighs> I thought the only thing to do was kill him, but then I thought of an even better use for him. Uh, uh, I can have done this on my own, but now... Anyway, just wait. I'm gonna create a real masterpiece very soon. Do you think I'm just gonna stand around waiting, Sagara? What are you doing? Stay focused on the turrets. We almost got hit just now. Agni and Sagara met. Oh yeah! Finally! Coming soon! Let's see who dies first! Lunatic. What's wrong? I was just saying what you were thinking. They're both your enemies anyway, right? Still, I need Sagara to win right now. Then, let Sagara win now! <laughs> Fucking her up. Wow, what's that? <laughs> I will refrain. I'm surprised that I've never seen that skill before. But seeing that you stopped w while using it, I guess you can't kill this guy, huh? Come to think of it, when Ananta died, Taraka clan sided with the gods. Bro, Agni with black hair and- oh my god, that's sick. So, you'll have to protect their prince in order to continue using the Taraka clan. Right? <laughs> Moving on. I'm eating good. I'm eating good. I, I ate real good. Oh boy, I ate good. I'm glad I chose to give in to my urge and read more. <laughs> also, Agni in black? Hell yeah. Ashen Agni. Ashen Agni. Was this fucking Dark Souls? 
I thought you changed into your slightly more powerful male form when you fight. Huh? That's right. I've said that before. I have said that before. The fact that you were waiting for me in your female form. Is it in your male form the transcendental that you used on him would stop working? You usually act like an idiot. But it seems so- but you seem so serious today. Well, you're not wrong. But that isn't the only reason that I didn't use my male form. You know, Agni, this isn't like last time. It doesn't seem like I really need to take on my male form to face you just yet. I'd love to fight you directly, but I have to keep holding on to this guy for now. This should be enough to buy some time while my masterpiece is completed. Right? Uh, there are any transcendental skills that can materialize a livingness, Tika. What the heck? Did this guy die? What on earth happened to the God Harbor clan for him to be dead? Is that? Who is that? Is that? That's not God Harbor. He's got both his. Who the fuck is that? Part 2, episode 154, you just to mine 20. No, don't stop it! No, 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 <sighs> Try looking on the bright side. I don't know about the situation outside, but I'm sure everything's going fine. I think things are about to go really, really fucking badly. I think things are about to go very, very badly, very, very quickly, and I think it's all going to be Sagara's fault, and that makes me very happy. <laughs> <sighs> also, I don't know if I'm going to have been doing it at this point, but I hope you enjoy my, um, my meme simp posting. If I have actually gone and done it. If you follow me on Twitter slash X, link in the description. Try not to worry yourself over nothing. Don't be anxious. Too soon, yeah. <sighs> Did I push myself too hard? My vigor has already run out. Snap out of it, Saha on. You've never been the kind of guy who couldn't manage his vigor. It's because you're feeling down. Because you saw something that made you feel sad. Saha, it's me. Lorraine. Eloth. All you need to do is think about protecting this place, Lutz. Don't worry too much. Worrying here won't change anything. Since you're in charge now that Saha isn't here, try to always think positively and manage your vigor. But the fact that Saha purposely left someone named Kubera here before he left means that he was worried about the worst case scenario of the possibility that both Era Plateau and Rind Hollow could be destroyed. So we left one Kubera here so that at least she could survive. <clears throat> Interesting, so there's one in um, Eloth as well. I mean, we probably knew that. <clears throat> I'm just forgetting. That's why what I'm saying. Worrying about that kind of thing won't change a thing. It's not like we can help him from all the way over here. Ah, uh, but who is that Kubera? The one left here in Eloth, I mean. <sighs> you know, part of me feels like I know. But I don't want to say it, just in case. If it's someone that important, wouldn't it be better for you to find her and keep her by your side? Zelda, stop it. I know it's top secret and everything, but you don't have to act like you don't know around me. I already heard from Saha. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I thought so. I wasn't pretending not to know. I'm asking because I really don't know. Why don't you know your own name? You're the Kubera in El Eloth. What? What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Who said that? Well, Saha. Look, this is what it says, the document that Saha sent me. The goal of this meeting is not to execute Asha. Whatever happens, her execution will be postponed, so pay no attention to what's going on over here and protect Tilda and Eloth. You need to be there, since I'm not. 
Isn't this just telling you to protect Eloth with me? Well, it does look a bit ambiguous, but still, you think I'm Kubera? Ever since I was a child, I've always been Tilda. The reason I was able to become the manager of the Magic Guild in spite of being a half is because of my memory. Unlike other halves, my memory has never gotten lost by emotional resonance, and I remember everything that I've ever seen and heard since I was born. So, I know my name better than anyone. I'm not Kubera. If I were Kubera, there would be no reason for me to hide it, that from you, Lutz. See, I feel like she is. But I feel like I'm being gaslit now. Because she seems like she's being genuine. I feel... Oh my god, Karigawa is unreal. <laughs> That's strange. Sus Saha said he knows who the three remaining Kubera are. So you must know who the Kubera and Eloth is, too. Then wouldn't it make sense for him to tell me since I'm protecting Eloth? Tilda, do you have any guesses? Like any, like another clue about the Kubera and Eloth? Mm, all I know is what Saha said. Ah, there's also the stuff that I saw and heard during the human search. If you combine the search that Saha did before with the recent one that your brother did, uh, the remaining Kuberas in Rinhel and Eloth have been settled there for a long time. Even when you change the time period for the search, both of them keep showing up near the Temple of Magic Guild. God. Wait. That... Ah. Uh, why didn't I think of this before? The reason that he didn't tell me who the Kubera and Eloth is. The reason that he so naturally guessed that the power of the name Kubera had been, dis had been dispersed. The reason that he has neglected Eloth and focused all of his power on Erebleto and Rindhalo. This would exp... You're fucking joking, right? You're taking the piss. It all makes sense now. Oh. My fucking god. <laughs> no. Oh my god. That means... The Kubera and Elothus. That's right. It's Saha. Saha is the Kubera and Eloth who kept turning up in the searches. It means there's no longer a Kubera and Eloth. All three Kubera are located where each Sura are attacking. Saha, I need to talk to you. I hate being on uncomfortable terms with you like this. So you came here alone. Yes, Saha. Uh, the situation right now isn't good either. Where else could I go at a time like this? You must be out of vigor from worrying about everything too. Ah, uh, Saha. Uh, Lorraine. Ah! Uh, uh, wh what's gotten into you, Saha? Tossing around a person wearing glasses like that is practically attempted murder. Oh my fucking god, because she's not showing up because of the spell that she cast. And Saha can't tell because he's drained. Asha, you sick fuck. But Asha, wait, uh, heard what the, what, weren't they one kill away from achieving what they wanted? Mate, chota fucking mate. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of god. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? No. I'm in genuine disbelief. What the fuck? Oh my god. Things I felt like Asha was going to kill Saha, right? But now she's got even Oh my god. 
But I'm really curious now, what was in Saha's Oracle? I want to know the rest of Saha's Oracle. Like, there's clear. I want to know what was in it. I want to know what Saha was told. Oh my god. Well, what? Kubera was told. Your mental calculations are so fast, I thought you were cheating. But you can even write out all of your calculations perfectly. This is really incredible for, at, at such a young age. What did you say your name was? I'm still gonna say Ra Hero because that's what I've been saying the entire time. I assume that's just a type set error, a typing error. Asha Ra Hero. Right, Asha. It was an excellent decision coming to me in search of a sponsor. You could succeed at anything with intelligence like this, but with the support of someone like me, it's like icing on the cake. I can get you as much money and as many connections as you like, so you can make what your whatever dream you want come true. Anything that I want? That's right. Anything you want to become or accomplish. Do you have anything in mind? Yeah, a magician. A very powerful magician. Oh yeah? That really is a good thing that you came to me. I'm one of the top magicians on this planet after all. Teaching a bright kid like you would be rewarding too. Well, I look forward to working together. Asha. Yes, master. Part two, episode 155. Your justice and mine. Hodi Braham! Hodi Marut. What are you doing, Asha? Why are you here? What did I just see? Saha. Saha was. No, snap out of it. I have to calculate. I don't think you'll be able. You're not going to be able to out, out calculate. Asha. Like, you just won't. The strength of a barrier made with Hodi Braham. Varies wide, varies depending on the level of the magician, but there are there are wa always ways to counter a barrier created by even the most powerful magician. The first is to use Bavadi Marut as a way of splitting the space and ignoring the barrier's defense. But the downside of the spell is that although powerful, it is also slow. There's a good chance that the magician who created the barrier with Holy Braham will attack you with a follow-up spell, so it's best to not waste time using Bavadi Marut here. Bavari Indra would be better then. That's right! That's the best one for your birth attribute. Bavari Indra is a spell which lets you ignore any obstacle when attacking a creature with blood in it. It's within range, so blocking it with Hodi Braham doesn't do much. Hodi Bavari Indra is an interesting spell then. Just it gets a if, if something has blood, you can attack it? What? Uh, what is Indra again? What attribute is Indra associated with? I don't know. I, 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 someone, actually, you know what? Someone in the comments, give me a list of every god and their attribute. Assuming there's nothing mega spoilery. If there is, don't include it. <laughs> okay? But for the gods we've that we've seen names of, put their attribute. Unless they have an item with resistance to Indra magic, and obviously as long as it's a god we've been introduced to where for some reason their, their attribute wouldn't be a... Sp if they, I don't know, I, I feel like the attributes of the gods wouldn't be a spoiler, but I just find it really interesting as to why Bavari Indra does that. Unless you have an item with resistance to Indra magic, most pure bloods are killed immediately. But why are you asking me how to counter something like Hodi Braha, Masha? You shouldn't have to put your life on the line to fight any other magicians. Ah, you never know when you might have to fight an evil magician, right? This is no telling what might happen between people. B Bavari! Bavari Indra. By using the fact that the spell heads straight for creatures with blood in them, you can easily hunt down hidden enemies at the same time. If Bavari Indra follows a direct in a direction that you didn't expect, it means someone got over. Some <coughs> it means that someone got hit with the spell there. Ah, uh, Asha. Uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This can't be. Asha, why would you do this? Oh, oh no, Agni. Oh no, Agni. Why would you do this? This must be a dream, right? C come on, tell me that I'm dreaming. Hmm? Please, Asha, tell me this is a dream. Tell me. Tell me. Ah, no, Asha, Asha! You're really incredible, Asha. No, I'm not. 
Why? You have such incredible magic abilities. I thought that I'd studied and practiced pretty hard, but compared to you, I'm really nothing. I mean, you've summoned a god, Brilith. You're still pretty special. Don't knock yourself. I know you can't admit to that here, but don't knock yourself. You need to have better self-esteem, Brilith. That's, that's what you need. You need some self-esteem. When I think about of how much sweat and blood you put into achieving such magical abilities... Yeah, so much blood, huh? So, so much blood. <laughs> that's because you've only ever taken the brightest path. Oh, wait. That's because you've only ever taken the brightest path. Huh? What I mean is, even if I told you how much effort I put in, you wouldn't be able to copy what I did. In fact, you wouldn't even be able to understand. Uh, barrier stone? What are you doing? Hurry up and handle the barrier stone! Wasn't Agni taking care of it? What happened to Agni? Claude! Claude! Hmm? Wait, how long have I been sleeping? These sleeping pills seem way too strong. Snap out of it! Right now the barrier stone that Agni was in charge of is broken. We have some other priest candidates by the barrier stone right now, so if by some chance the Sora attack, you need to be ready to use Bavadi Yama. Uh, I don't think the Sora attack will attack directly. From the look of things, it seems like they're going to retreat soon, since there's no longer a reason for them to attack the city. What do you mean? I'm saying that you can relax. Now? But where's Lila? Is she next to the Barrier Stone of Darkness? No. We temporarily left the Barrier Stone of Darkness with another priest candidate. Right now, Lila has gone to attempt a summoning spell. She's gone to fucking what now? Ida etu Chandra. She, she, she's gone to do what now? A fucking excuse me? Ika fucking a sucker use a me, bitch. Bro, bro, so much is happening. So much is happening. Also, I feel so bad for Brilith because she genuinely trusted Asha. I also feel bad for Lorraine because she also genuinely trusted Asha and, you know, believed in Asha. I still want to to some degree, but at the same at the same time, I, I oh god, I want to hold some hope out because. In this story, there are no villains, but only victims. So, I don't want to, you know, I mean, ah, oh, she's evil, she's a the villainous villain that never did villain. <laughs> because, you know, the tagline from very early on. Yes, I remember. Will she make it? I wonder. I'll let Arthur mention that her summoning magic will always succeed. There must be something that's giving her that kind of confidence. But if it were that simple, why hasn't she used the skill yet? Huh? Claude? What did you tell but Ah! Step aside! Move! Stop, Lila! The sewer will retreat soon! You don't need to use your summoning med- How do you know that the sewer will retreat soon? Huh? Hmm? Hurry up and answer me. You lowly creature. I knew she'd met Yama before. I fucking knew it. If you're on the same side as the Syrah, <laughs> then I'll beat the crap out of you right here. God of Darkness. Chandra. Current appearance, 15 years old. Part 2, episode 156. Your justice and mine, 22. Hmm. What on earth happened in the city? Agni. Suddenly, seeing that you suddenly got so weak. Obviously, something must have happened to that summoner named Brilith. Ugh. Plus, judging from the light that started shining over there a minute ago, it looks like another human named Kubera died a moment ago. Isn't it funny? The city's barrier still isn't completely broken, and we haven't even directly attacked the humans in the city. <laughs> but we ended up achieving our goal. <laughs> Uh, you must be stunned. I fucking love her. <laughs> stunned, Agni. You tried to help the humans, but someone ended up betraying you. <laughs> uh, anyway, since Fortune all appears to be on our side this time only, 
I'll let you watch my plans become reality. From right there. Since now I have plenty of names and there's no longer any fool, no need to fool around here. Ah, of course, I won't stop attacking the city. Oh no, you made the wrong assumption. Claude, you've made the wrong assumption. Also, I assume Claude saw that flash and that's how he knows. Or has he sensed that Saha has fucking died? And he knew. So I've, Claude definitely knows way more than me. I think Claude, you know, says he's been, you know, helping this entire time. But I think he thinks he's doing enough. But I feel like he needed to play more of an active role to really achieve what he wants. Unless this is what he's after. Unless this is what he's after. Ah! Bro, I, this is such a visceral fucking reaction. These patterns, yo, what the fuck? Windhall is a city filled with the grudge of my people. This is my chance to completely destroy it for them. Now, this is your first task, Jitayu. As soon as the barrier breaks, slaughter all of the humans in the city. After all, they're nothing once you seal their magic with your ability. Hmm. But something seems a bit strange. Akni has got him weak, and now it's only a matter of time until the city's barrier breaks completely. But why did you stop the attack, Samfadi? There's a good chance that Agni is with Saha, right? But what? Wrong. I wonder if the barrier got weaker due to some kind of problem. Hmm? Why is this door open? Step aside, Ram! Hoodie Aspens! Hoodie Aspens! Ah, that's a relief. At least the rain seems to be wearing clo clothes with magic resistance. But Saha... Ah, who would do such a terrible thing? Hoodie Aspens may be able to restore a mutilated body to original form, but it cannot revive them. Yeah, because it's like rewinding the physical state of something, but if there's no soul, then... Then I'll freeze them, at least. If we keep him frozen, later we could ask Ash to cast Hodi Vishnu for the- No, Hodi Vishnu won't work. Saha's name has long been on the list of people forbidden from being revived. So, we can't revive him with Hodi Vishnu. And... But for now, I'll handle the job that Saha was doing. We can't neglect that. J oh, no, that's Elaine. J just calm down first. You don't absolutely have to take over the turret. Ron, can you do it? What? Oh, hold on. I don't have a very good turret management record. We may both be shocked, but right now Lorraine is the most shocked person of all of us. How could she be in her right mind when she, her fiancé just died? I would like to take over the turret. Oh, I assume that was bad. But it would be better to save my vigor to you and use it for recovery magic. Hmm? What's this? It's a letter. The Sura that the turrets are currently attacking, and the Sura attacking the city are different entities. The Sura that the turrets are t attacking in the mo is moving at high speed in a cloaked state, and doesn't appear to be able to attack the city in that state. On the other hand, the Sura attacking the city... The Sura at attack... The Suras attacking the city are using trans transcendental skills in a cloaked state in the sky above Rindhalo, but they are not moving around. Since there are several superior Sura in cloaking mode, we desperately need Surya's abilities. It would be best if I had the ability to summon the god, but since the great upheaval, all three of my summoning attempts have been have failed. Thus, I'm trying to do the next best thing to summon right now. The Sura in the air appears to appears extremely large and powerful, so I won't be able to hit it with Bhavadi Surya with, with my Bhavadi Surya spell. This spell paralyzes whomever it hits until they are hit with another blow. So during that time, I could stop the attack on the city and create a single chance for us to attack. They're just attacking from the same spot. The Sura probably doesn't expect that there's a human who can attack with, the, with Surya magic all the way from here. Which means there's almost no chance that it'll dodge as long as I concentrate. I can hit it. Is she attacking from fucking orbit? Hodi Surya, my Vardy Surya. She got hit. And that's when this happened. After being hit with the spell, the enemy is probably frozen in midair without being able to do anything. But if I don't kill them in one hit, 
they could be in danger of a counter attacking when it awakens. So before that, I need to work with Chandra and Mr. Kasak to perform the most powerful attack possible. Probably that's why he's told Lila. I assume he's told Lila to summon Chandra. If someone is reading this, I'm probably no longer I'm probably already no longer able to help you. I've already told yeah, the Temple of Darkness about the plan above, so there's no need to go there and tell them. But if Lila's summoning fails, please tell this to Agni or Kasak. Lorraine. I'm sorry that I couldn't keep my promise. Oh. By promise, does he mean their engagement? Do you know anything about this? If you caught even a glimpse of who attacked. Saha. Saha. I'm not doing a proper cry. Um, mainly because I don't want to, like, suffer. This is unreal, though. These episodes have been unreal. Don't pay attention to your relatives pressuring you to get married, Lorraine. Oh, is that Saha? They appear to be worried that putting off the wedding will ruin the engagement itself. But my heart does not change so easily. So, go wherever you like. Whether it's to Terra or somewhere else. And live freely without worrying about what people think about you. I'll wait as long as it takes for you to make up your mind. Saha was a really good guy. If only he'd been a bit more open about what you know what was going on in his head. So that's that's a lot of people, really, in this uh, webtoon. If they spoke a bit more about what was in their head, a lot of problems would be solved, wouldn't they? Uh, but anyway, let's carry on. Maruna, I think we can stop now. I thought it was strange that somebody stopped attacking before. Now I see a signal from over there. What? It looks like one of the humans named Kubera died, so Sagara has pulled it off. Still, does that mean somebody should stop attacking? Eh, she must still have a great amount of vigor left. Hold on. It's not like the city's barrier broke before. So how could a Kubera have died? Ah. Uh, is this the work of that magi- That magi- Maruna? Have you- Ah. Uh, oh. I fucking swear. Very impressive, even in a situation like this. What's this, Maruna? You knew something? Is there a collaborator on the human side? No. The process may be the same, but ultimately, it's not a collaborator. It may be the most troublesome enemy of all. It's an enemy to both us and the humans. I should have killed it the moment I first saw it in cart, but it escaped like a little rat. I wonder how much power it stole from the Kubera that it just. That's got some wild ass. How? <laughs> I think we're about to find out, Maruna. Hody Surya, Hody Indra. Told ya! Uh, what? that was that a uh, magic <laughs> like a magic <laughs> i'm impressed that they could hit me while we're cloaked and moving at the speed very powerful too man if i didn't have a regeneration ability i could have died in one hit uh, hurrah this is no time to get distracted our cloaking is gone <laughs> is that so let's for now let's retreat some fighters retreated too plus however it happened another kubera is dead so there's no reason for us to be here doing this. Oh, maybe Claude wasn't wrong. I think they're going to be forced. Ash is going to be a reason for them to be forced to retreat. Part 2. Episode 157. Your justice and mine. 23. So you're saying that you ran over here simply because you saw the Sura's attack? Because you were worried that Lorraine... That Lorraine... That Lila would lose some of her lifespan with, her, with the summoning spell? Uh, how could I lie to a god? After all, you have insight, right? That's true. But you th your thoughts are all clouded. So I can't believe whether it's true or not. Interesting. That's an interesting input. Plus, the fact that you know more about insight means that there's a god who told you about it directly, directly. Who told you directly about it. 
Humans who don't know about the ability of insight can only learn about it directly from the mouth of a god. It cannot be communicated by other means. It's the same as when someone has seen a god but cannot communicate it. Part 2, episode 122. Like, the pictures. But I have no idea who that god is. So you'll have to tell me yourself. Hmm? Mm, well, I did receive an oracle, but I can't tell you which god it was. Wow. I haven't seen a lower life form this crazy in a while. Are you provoking a god? <coughs> Traditionally, the most effective way to control blasphemy is with pain. Stop it. I know that Claude is suspicious, but that's not the most urgent problem right now. At the very least, Claude isn't trying to harm me. So Chandra, carry the plan that we spoke of before. You've sure grown up. Next thing you know, you'll be take you'll be talking to me like a friend. If I've committed blasphemy, then judge me in hell. I'm not going I'm going to die like my master soon anyway. Oh boy, not that again. How do you think I would have killed Do you think I would have killed her on purpose? People make mistakes without realizing it, you know. A long time has passed in the human world. But you're still pouting about it. I think you've forgotten. But all you have to do is call me. Rather than just making a promise with words, show me with concrete actions. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky, you lower life form. You should bow to Lila to thank her. Seems like the gods that get summoned are all, um, a bit more involved with their summoners than. You know, the meets the eye. Ooh, thanks, Lila. My legs are short. I'm so sore for kneeling down like that. <sighs> you lunatic. How dare you talk back to Chandra? Were you trying to get yourself killed? Uh, please. <laughs> oh, Claude. That means the barrier of darkness has gotten stronger, right? Looks like she finally used it after resisting for so long. The summoning spell. Even though Lila can't stand Chandra. Yeah, I get it. I feel it, but I feel like being, I'm gonna like I feel like I'm gonna like Chandra. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna. You know? <laughs> I wonder if any of you are surprised by me saying that. Probably not. Anyway, we're a relief with two elite guards summoned. We should be pretty much we should be safe from pretty much anything, right? The transcendental energy that was coming from the sky has disappeared too. And seeing that the turret has... Well, I mean... Yuta might be a problem. Uh, depending on what Sagara has done with him. I, would, I, I think I have some ideas. But again, I'm not going to voice them. If you want to know. If I don't get them confirmed by the next episode. Because we're, we're going to do one more after this. If I don't get my, you know... Assumptions con confirmed by next... But in the next episode, I'll, I'll leave them unsaid. Where was I? And seeing that the turret has stopped automatically aiming itself, it looks like the Sura who were attacking and hiding have run off in fear. That's true, but what's that light that's been shining in the dis distance since before? Hmm. Please seem. Please will feel it. What's wrong? Are you hurt? N no, I'm just fine. Why is she making that face? Is a Sura. Appeared. Uh, Asha. Oh, this is going fucking full sicko mode. Bavari Marut. She's going sicko mode. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. I don't know. I don't know. How. What? How? What am I? The, what? What am I supposed to? Uh, I mean, I'll, you'll, you'll see it. Uh, oh, Jesus, you'll see a title. I don't, I, oh, I don't know what to call this. What the fuck? This is insanity. Because calling someone like, oh, the battle at Rindhalo is really boring. You know what I mean? But like, I feel like that's the most apt thing. Like, this is ridiculous. Because it's like the most encompassing. But like, what is going on? You're in five. Planet Cut. Rao, is it true that you'll sponsor me when we go to Will Wilrave? Uh -oh. Rao, is it true that you'll sponsor me when we go to Wilrave? 
Ah, Asha. Good timing. A picture of my daughter just arrived. Would you like to see it? What? It's a picture of her not long after she was born, but it took five years to get here because the transmission systems were down during the cataclysm. You must have grown up a lot by now, right? <laughs> I bet she's adorable. Although, I'll meet her soon when we go to Rule Brave. You have a daughter? Ah, uh, we still haven't officially got married, but we're going to have the ceremony as soon as I, I swear to fucking God, Asha, if you killed Rao or did so. Asha. Asha, I am trying so hard to have faith in you right now. I'm going to keep believing. So I'm hooked on a feeling that there's some good in you. There's a purpose to all of this. <clears throat> Look at this. It looks like she has a mix of her mother's hair and mine. Her curly hair is just like mine. Sometimes, for no other reason, there are people whose very existence I despise. It doesn't matter what kind of personality you have, or how you looked. I didn't want to know, either. Part 2, episode 158, Your Justice and Mine, 24. Bro, how much longer is this going to go on for? This arc is insane. This might be the most insane arc going so far. This arc and the previous one have blown probably everything before them out of the water. There's some really good arcs in season one. But this and the previous one. Oh my god. Ugh, my head hurts. What just happened? All right, Asha. It's definitely Asha. But she's supposed to be locked up? How did she... Ah, of all times to be in an area where I can't use... Holy, I can't use Kapara magic. There's no way to fight her in this state. You don't need to hide yourself, Irie. Ah, she's already gone. Thank you, Roosh. If it weren't for you, we would have been crushed without even moving. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. If you're so grateful, then tell lots of other people about my good deed. Of course, thank you so much! What? What happened? Ash has gone where? I'm not sure. I just figured she must have left. I didn't see her attack. I don't know any way of facing Asha anyway, so I wasn't even thinking about it. And what about Lise? I'm not sure about her either. I feel sorry for Lise. But I thought I would have a higher chance of, sex of successfully saving you and the other people rather than Lise since she was close to Asha. This much of your face was gone when Bavadi Marut was used. You just barely survived because I used Hody Asfins. But you don't remember a thing, do you? Thank you. Phew, how concise. Very concise. Thank you. Two words. It almost brings tears to my eyes. For now, tell Saha that Asha has escaped. <laughs> About that. That Saha has escaped? The Asha has escaped. I'll hear the other people here and look for Lee's. All right. Well, Hody Vayu. You're not going to like what you see. Run. Run. Run! Uh, huh? Are you keeping watch properly? Not only did the Transcendental that was attacking the city stop, but the turret also completely stopped attacking a minute ago. Have you found out what was... What might have caused that? Mm, uh, uh, the... Don't stop. When did it stop? Are you anxious? Is it hard to, to concentrate? Is there a problem with your vigor? Uh, uh, to be honest, I think it's all three. I just never even imagined him being dead. So, uh, how could this happen? He was the strongest person after my brother. He could have beaten anyone. No, he couldn't. Asha exists. What? It's not like the Sura invaded the city itself either, so how? This whole situation makes no sense. Even makes me wonder whether I'm dreaming. Ugh. What kind of crazy bastard would do this? Ah, uh, uh, It was my mistake. It was my fault. Please, wake up. Please, we have to stay together. Wake up from your dream. Let's think about bad things later, Ron. Put that aside in the corner of your mind for now. And just think of happy things right now. Ronna, are you okay? 
I'm a bit nervous, but not to the point that I would make a mistake in my calculations. Oh. Uh, Vigor is fine, too. Incredible. You really do feel like an older sister at times like this. There's nothing incredible about it. Magicians going to battle need to be able to maintain mental stability. For the sake of their calculation speed. Another one of Ash's strengths is that she's so rationally cold all the time. Uh, I guess that doesn't apply to you since you don't do any calculations. Ah, uh, what's this? What happened? Are you insane? Who did this? What did you do? We were heading to the Temple of Darkness and saw her, instru uh, saw her instructed. We got a call from downstairs. Ron and Rana were the first witnesses. Rain was collapsed on the floor next to him also. What? Lorraine? She says she didn't see who- d Lorraine, why are you still defending her like this? People need to know! Uh. She says she didn't see who she got attacked all- Because she got attacked also. She's stabilizing right now. What? Are you, you people idiots? Why would you let the person you should suspect first just walk away? Ah, jeez. So you automatically excluded her from the suspect since she was- since they were engaged? Unbelievable. After she ran away to avoid getting married and even defended Asha during a trial for murder. That's right. Now I can see the overall outline of the situation. There's no way Asha could, could have escaped on her own. The rain was in cahoots with Asha from the start. I don't remember you being this smart, Roosh. You've connected dots that everybody else seems to be entirely oblivious to. Lorraine must have done the name search for her. That's why she defended Asha, helped her escape, and then, even when that went as far as to kill the leader- Okay, you're missing one little bit. Kill the leader of her planet just because he was a threat to Asha. Wait. Asha- Asha escaped? That's right. She just destroyed the first turret and then disappeared. I came here to tell you that, but now... Anyway, where's Lorraine? Where is she? Uh, in this room. She could attack you if you just open the door. To check with Hody Surya. Wait. So you're saying Asha escaped and killed Saha? And Lorraine is her accomplice? There's no way she would... She could do that when... They were engaged. For now, let's see what she has to say. That comes first. She's gone. I don't see her with Hori Surya. Shoot, hurry up and open the door. Lorraine. I'm sure it was a Garuda Sura that I saw before, but it wasn't a fifth stage Rock a fifth stage Rakshasa. Then does that mean that the stage five Rakshasa was also attacking who was also attacking us somewhere else? And this guy who was just distracting the turret. And this guy was just distracting the turrets and drawing our attention to him. Agni said we could come out when the transcendental attacks stop. But I'm not but I'm sure at least the attack stopping wasn't because of Utah. What other reason could there be for them stopping the attack and backing off? I thought you would just rush out without thinking. <laughs> but it looks like you are thinking a bit. Have you been reflecting on your actions? Little dragon, the crazy- Little dragon, the craziest one during the cataclysm. <laughs> Chandra. Alright. But, uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm do it. I'm gonna be, be insane. I'm gonna be crazy if the page will respond. I'm gonna be crazy. We're doing another one. Yeah? Yeah, you heard me. We're doing a sick fucking episode. Yeah, six. Yeah. I'm, I'm too hooked. This is going to be well, like, over an hour long recording, but I'm fucking doing it. <gasps> I've been rewarded immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry. For those of you that watch these in full and, like, make notes on my reaction shit and, like, your thoughts about this. You are brave soldiers for, if you've made it this far. Uh, congratulations. You, you are impressive. And I, res I appreciate all of your comments. Genuinely. The turret... The turret... The turrets. The turrets have stopped... That means that Maruna has left. As if it weren't enough, then some body stopped her attack. Now even Maruna. Tch. I have no choice, since there's no way to break the barrier. We just have to leave the city alone. Ah, uh, I just changed my mind. Since I achieved my goal, I should just go and take care of my personal stuff. Stop it, Sagara. I know what you're trying to do. Do you? Then you must also know that I'll never give up on it. 
Right. Just give up. And the nasty could die. That's the end. The end? <laughs> Don't lie. Even the Nastika have an afterlife too. Since they can't be accepted in the normal afterlife, they'll get isolated to a special afterlife completely separate from other creatures. But you've decided... You've deceived us by calling that annihilation. What? Who told you that? Wait, did he just use insight on her? Or did she just not let him block it? Or did she just not block it? Who do you think? Only you, fifth Zen gods, knew about this and kept it a secret. Try really hard to guess among to guess who among those gods would have betrayed you. Is Kubera among them? Well, I can see why you would have wanted to keep it hidden by simply claiming that it's annihilation. It makes them give up on trying to bring each other back from the dead. If we had known that there is a separate afterlife in the Nastika. We would have tried to revive dead Nastika long ago. No. Where dead a Nastika go is not some afterlife. Part 2, episode 159, Your Justice and Mine, 25. If they don't go to the afterlife after death, then what? Doesn't the fact that they go somewhere mean that it's not complete annihilation? It's basically the same as annihilation, since it's a place from which there is no return. What if there were a way to come back? Even if there were, you shouldn't use it. Why not? Are you afraid that it might work against you if someone you've killed comes back to life? It's not that! That place is a dimension where souls are ripped apart. Nastika have their names and souls separated. And only their name is left there. No matter what you do to try to revive someone, the thing that you revive will no longer be the same person you once knew. It's just a power left behind with that sense. Hmm? Are you trying to scare me now? Man, I'm not stupid enough to fall for something as unfounded as that. It's not a lie, Sagara. Think carefully. That tremendous power to be unleashed without a sen- Oh, wait, this is Sagara speaking. Think carefully. If that tremendous power were to be unleashed without a sense of self, this entire universe would disappear in a flash. It's the quickest way to get everyone dis to get everyone destroyed. Whether, whatever. Oh no, that was Agni. I was wrong. Whatever. You were one of the gods who was so happy when he died, right? You wouldn't even hesitate to lie if it meant that you could stop him being revived. I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. I trust Agni here. I trust Agni here. That's right. No amount of. The ultimate gaslight gatekeeping girl boss. No, no matter how much of her there is, I, I will still side without me here. Because I think he's telling the truth. I don't think he's lying. <sighs> Sagara. You're so hopeless. And even if what you said is true, I'm sure... I'm sure that you would recognize me. He'll recover the memories of his former life and return to his old self as a kind and devoted leader. Sagara, that's just your wishful thinking. Shut up! Ah, uh, you're the, you're the Agni after all. You don't die easily, even after getting so weak. I guess rather than die here, you should stay alive so that you can greet him. Isn't that right? Enough of your petty little tricks. Oh, wait, that's Chandra, isn't it? <laughs> Enough of your petty little tricks. <laughs> you idiot. You fell for some poor transcendental skill like that. <laughs> hey, Agni, <laughs> wake up. <gasps> oh, what? Huh? No, that was Yuta? Huh? What? Oh my god, I was wrong. It was Yuta the entire time. What? Oh wait, was it? No, what's going on? No, it wasn't. It was ya Chandra. Wow, the humans are quite impressive. I can't believe they summoned another god in the meantime. But you, Chandra of all gods, the god of darkness is nothing more than a scarecrow if he loses his transcendental power. Right? 
I haven't seen you in ages, but it looks like we'll have to part ways right now. So long. I feel like it should be more of the type to say toodles, but okay. What are you doing? Snap out of it! No, he's not immediately leaving like Cigara wanted. <coughs> that movement. How did you do it so fast just now? It would be dangerous for me to keep fighting. I better escape for now. Ha! <laughs> now there's even a half dragon here. Ah! What a nuisance. What do I have to deal with this when I was just supposed to get rid of Agni? Ah, uh, forget it. Let's just leave him here and go. Ha! Huh. Look at her go. Don't go after her. Even if you do. Don't use your transcendental. You'll die if other superiors Sura join her. But now, let's take Agni back to the city. It looks like Sagara still doesn't know what's going on with the fifth with the stage five Rakshasa in the sky. So we should get rid of that stage five Rakshasa before she notices. Well What if I do him what if I do you like this? And go to episode 160. What if I do this? What if I did this? What if I did this and did another episode? Wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be just so crazy? Be grateful. But, well, be grateful. Um, I should be fucking grateful because this has been a great read. But holy shit. This has been incredible. The, the, because this is so good... Right now, I'm hella invested that I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> Some Fardy hasn't returned. What about Sagara? Did you guys return without Sagara? That's strange. Why wouldn't Some Fardy be back yet? I thought Some Fardy would be back since we achieved our goal and the attack stopped. Isn't it obvious? She must have been watching them from above. Galhava isn't back either. Plus, there's no telling when something unexpected might come up. Are you guys even listening to us? I asked you why you came back without Sagara. It's all right. The human named Kubera is dead anyway. Knowing some Fadi, she wouldn't just stand there watching. Maruna, how can you not even think of Sagara? He could eat you alive if he wanted to. And you fucking know that, which is why you back down there. Knowing your king should be back without even a scratch on her. Not a- not a single hair on her perfect little head will have been touched. Well, it might be out of place because of Yuta moving too quickly, but... It won't- she'll- she'll be perfectly fine. Even if she has to use my little brother- my little brother cowardly as a shield. Don't do anything foolish like attacking targets you don't recognize. Not that attacking would work anyway. Phew! You act all nonchalant like Sagara must win. But inside, you're obviously really pissed. After seeing how your brother was abused. Part 2, episode 160, Your Justice and Mine, 26. I can't believe this happened to him. The whole situation is a complete mess. Tut, tut. My mic won't pick up me tying properly. Oh, there's so many works. So that's Chandra. He's not going to hold us responsible, is he? We were just doing what we were told. You. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is Ron Syrof. He just recently became a double a, magi a double a magician. You, what are you doing, Ron? Don't just stand there, staring. Bow your head. Oh, uh, uh, I know I'm supposed to bow my head. But why do I feel so uncomfortable? I feel like I, sh I could just keep my head raised. How unexpected. <laughs> I didn't think you would have become a double A. Do they accept that kind of power too in magic exams nowadays? I would question you about it, as long as you're on the side of the lower life of these lower life forms. What do you mean, Chandra? Chandra, what do you mean? What do you mean? What are you hiding? You don't look like you're ready to fight outside yet, so just protect this city. You don't need to bow your head. Is Agni still recovering? Hm. Still, it is taking too long. It's because fucking Brolith is 
mentally broken. It looks like the priestess of fire. The priestess of fire was near the door when she was electrocuted by an attack from outside. Although her godly robes protected her from some, from serious damage, for some reason she still hasn't woken up. Not even Hody Osvins can revive her. How can she not even withstand the stress when she's supposed to be a priestess? Pathetic. She doesn't have what it takes to be a magician. <sighs> Jeez, we was talking. Are you saying that you have what it takes to be a god? Gods are supposed to be broad-minded. <laughs> I wouldn't even... Even I would be a better god than you... Than you. Cocky son of a bitch. I'll come for you when you die. <laughs> John was a god. Oh, of course, yeah, Ron doesn't know about insight. <laughs> oh, poor guy. So, Chandra, isn't it important to find the culprit who did this, who did that to Saha then, and then ran away? Judging from killing Saha and destroying the first turret, it looks like there's a good chance that the culprit is on the same side as Asura. It's a good, well, I think Asha's only on her own side. It's good, it's a good thing I stayed calm, even in that situation, use some magic. Otherwise, there could have been some serious casualties. So, basically, you want me to say... See you as a hero for saving some people. <laughs> I appreciate your effort, but you failed to protect the most important thing. Lila's the last one left now. Everything's going disgustingly well according to his plan. Was it reckless to even attempt to challenge a destiny created by time? Chandra. Speak up. Speak a bit more. Come on, I'm all ears. I'm all ears, my guy. Tell me what you got. What do you mean? Oh, 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 oh. You still never manage to understand what people say on the first time. Your stupidity is what tires out the people around you. Should I say it again? Saha was one of the people named Kubera. That's why he died. Chandra said that Lila was the only one left, but Lee's isn't dead. Surely the God of Death would know, well, the God of Darkness would know who is dead, right? Surely he would know if Lee's had died. Interesting. What have you done, Asha? What have you done? Now that Saha's dead and they've achieved their goal, the Sura have backed off too. I've known for ages that Saha was a Kubera, but he was such a tough, a tough, difficult opponent that I tried to let him stay alive as long as possible. He was in such an, he was such, in such an important position that it would be, that it would have been tough dealing with the aftermath if I had killed him. Plus, I didn't really want to take the risk of challenging someone with his abilities. But now, it's really over. There's no need to worry about the aftermath, and I even have a chance. And I even have had a chance to kill him easily. No, Asha, why are you telling me this right now? After destroying the first turret and bringing me all the way here, all you want to say is to make me understand your murder? I don't care whether you understand it or not. I just need you to take responsibility. What? You were the weakest and easiest to kill among the remaining Kuberales. But I didn't take the easy road. I killed Saha. Instead of you. Ultimately, the reason that you're alive is thanks to my consideration and Saha's sacrifice. Consideration? Sacrifice? What are you talking about? You still don't get it. I have to get out of here as you keep dragging this out. Basically, I'm saying that Saha died because of you. You should thank me for risking my life and taking a dangerous path just to spare you. Now, you need to take responsibility for the leader of the planet who died because of you. Ha! Ah, jeez. I can only stand so much bullshit. Please. Please, come. Whoa, 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 please. That's, uh, that's some strong language, please. You know, I'm kind of committed to finishing this arc. 
today in this reading. So I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> yeah. Why would I re be responsible for you killing people? Did I force you to kill Saha? Did I say that I want to live at the expense of other people's lives? Um, I mean, you did kind of uh, make an agreement with God Kubera that you wanted to live, not die, so, um, yes, you have technically done that. I never said that. I didn't have much time left anyway. Plus, I'm risking my own life just to help Rin Hollow. I don't care if I die for someone else's sake. And yet you go ahead and kill someone and try to blame me for it? Don't blame anyone else for your own mistakes. You're the one who committed murder, and you need to take responsibility for it. <sighs> How can you be so ungrateful when I let you live? Enough of this nonsense! You've completely changed. You're the one who's changed! No, she hasn't, please. I've always been this way. No matter how stupid you are, shouldn't you at least remember that much? I was blunt, rude, and insulting. I treated you worse than a complete stranger on the street. I locked you up and controlled you without even giving you a clear reason. Whenever a problem came up, I always blamed you for it, and you accepted that. All you ever did was turn around with that dumb smile on your face. Let alone... Let alone... Let alone... Let alone complaining or protesting. Even after being treated like that, you still liked me and trusted me. Now you tell me that I've changed? It's not even funny. I wasn't... It wasn't that long ago that you completely, belie completely believed me when I told you that your village ended up like that because of you. After accepting it then, now you say that you can't accept that Saha's death is because of you. And you say that I'm the one who's changed. Don't kid yourself. I'm the same as I've always been. The only thing that's changed is your willingness to accept that. I can't see why you wouldn't accept it. You must not know- you must not want to accept it. Because of your stupid past. When you used to trust and follow me. Even while being trusted like- treated like that. That's why you wanted to believe I'm the one who changed. I have an idea of why you've changed. It's because of Mirha, isn't it? She said she would wait until later to tell you. But it looks like she couldn't help but op help opening her big mouth. No, Mirha's the, not the one who told me. Mirha said that she didn't want me to find out right now. But Mirha's secretary gave me some documents. About the reason why you hid the fact that Kaz was alive. Why you only let me live this whole t while... This whole time while... When you've been killing all the other Kubera. And even why you wouldn't find the Transcendentals teacher for me, even after making me draw the Sword of Return? I wanted to ask you, whatever, when, I wanted to ask you whether everything in the document was true. But you were forbidden from having visitors. I thought you were going to fucking kill her over me, honestly. Ah, uh, I see. I saw that document too, when I met Mirha. There's no need for you to ask me anything. It's basically all true. Mayhew's a very smart girl, you know. It was just wrong about one very important thing. The part about me letting you live because you could be valuable as a warrior. That was wrong, Lise. If I were to kill you, your power would become mine anyway. If you think about it, obviously it would have been much better for me to just kill you and take your power wa rather than having to take you with me everywhere. But... But... You happen to be Rao's daughter. Some ignorant, uneducated country bumpkin with the name Kubera, who wasn't even worth sparing. The only reason you were worth sparing was simply because you were Rao's daughter. With his last name, Please. Part 2, episode 161, Your Justice and Mine, 27. Back again. 
Ah, Agni. Anything else besides anything else besides me? What? Think anything other than the god you see right before you now? Anything else? Even your own self? It can be anything. Just try remembering something. Just try to remember something. You've really forgotten everything. I should have left before, but I chose to bring you back, rightfully. Well then, shall we go? I'll escort you to the entrance. How did it go? I think she'll be able to last for a bit. It wouldn't be good to wake her up right now. So I can't increase her vigor recovery speed any more than this. If <laughs> it seems like she's not gonna make it, it'd be better to send her off than force her to stay. There are a few other people on the planet who can summon you, you know. She doesn't look like she would even be able to properly handle your powers. It would be better to just send her off and get summoned by an even more outstanding summoner. No. Brilith has to be the one to summon me. Let's go. The paralysis will wear off if we wait any longer. <sighs> There's a good chance the stage 5 Rakshasa from the Garuda clan has a certain amount of resistance to paralysis. Sura might also find out about the paralysis first and try to wake up and try to wake it up. Ah, right. But won't the city's defenses be in danger if we're all if we're all far from the city? That's true. But we only have one chance to attack safely while that stage five Rakshasa is paralyzed. And in order to make sure we can kill it, you, me, and Agni. Let me breathe. I was hoping to breathe while voicing um, Chandra, because it hit, I voiced him a bit breathy, but no, it wasn't working. The three of us have to go together. Although, Agni and I could go on our own if Agni were in his normal state. Is that the god Agni? Another god? Plus a half-dragon. Samfadi is the only reason that all three of them would be heading for the sky at the same time. Shoot. Some fighty atta stopped attacking because of some external factor like paralysis, not our own will. What should I do? Even if I go after them, there's no guarantee that I can get there faster than the gods and wake some fighty up. That's it. Now that the barrier around the city is weaker, without the gods around, if I can get up there before them, I'll have to make them come back down. Don't do it, Kasak. Don't go. Don't do do not do it. Yeah, I'm complete I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the act today. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this video. Like straight up dog. I'm gonna do it. And you can't stop me. Those of you that watch to the end, you're my hostages right now. How does it feel? Being trapped. How does it feel? I'm sure you'll watch it in segments because this is very long. I wouldn't blame you for watching it in installments. It's probably the best way to have watched it. If you did that, let me know. If you didn't, you're fucking crazy. What are you looking at? Get over here! But the city is under attack. If you keep going higher, the barrier will be in danger. No, it won't. What would those guys attack the city for when they're, they've already achieved their goal? The answer is obvious. Either there are other Sura going to release some fighting from a paralysis right now, or a paralyzed Rakshasa is trying to break out of a paralysis using its own resistance. You're not very clever, are you? Chandra. Whatever it is, the atta that attack right now is nothing more than a trick to distract us. They won't be able to break through a four-layer barrier easily. So it wouldn't be so when would it be better to deal with the Rakshasa up in the sky quickly and hurry and head back? Hurry! Part 2, episode 162, your justice and mine, 28. Yeah, the barrier just... I know. She doesn't seem like she's doing okay. Aeroplateau, Temple of Wind. Did you hear... Did you tell her about Saha? No. Telling her about it now wouldn't do a thing. The other priests don't know either. Aeroplateau, Temple of Sky. 
If they've got triple sky attributes, then tell everybody to be on standby. No exceptions. No matter what happens, we can't allow all of the barriers to be destroyed at the same time. Rind Hollow, Temple of Darkness. Lila, will you be okay? We have no choice but to just have faith and wait for now. All we can do is hope that Chandra will resolve the issue up above and return quickly. Rind Hollow, Temple of Death. Oh, interesting. That wasn't Claude. Hmm. Claude, could you at least pretend to be worried about the barrier? I'm not in charge of it, even if it breaks anyway. I'm not in charge of it, even if it breaks anyway. No are priest candidates, you know. Aeroplateau, Temple of Sky. What's going on? We're under attack, but not a single turret is working? They're attacking in human form. The turrets only attack them in Sura form. Ron, you have the eyes of a hunter, right? I do, but... Rush ended up looking after the tower instead of Ron. Then go check things out. The nearby mountains have collapsed, so there won't be... There will be almost no obstacles in your, in your way. Judging from the direction and type of attack, they're probably somewhere over there, since it looks like a circular transcendental skill centered around the caster. Ah, uh, I found it. But it's still in its human form, so it won't be able to hit it to hit from here. We have this, Ron. Let's... The boat. Oh, of neutrality. I heard... A lot about its power. They say it blew up one of the pillars, supporting a, a temple in Calibloom, right? If we can add the Sky Tower's distance and adjustment to that tremendous power, that power would be tremendous. No, Rana, I told you before. My brother may be able to use it, but I'm... Then why have you been carrying it around so much? If you can use it at all, then there's no, re no need to even carry it around, right? Uh, well, it's not like I don't have any way of firing it. Ron. <sighs> You've been hiding something, haven't you? Chandra's implied that, and I'll trust the insight of a god here. What's this? Are we supposed to just wait here and pray? If you don't think you can do it, I'll fire it. You know how to use it, right? Huh? But Rana, if you fail, you can lose all of your vigor. It's better than try not trying at all. Doesn't look like there's anything else here other than anyone else here with as much vigor as me. Plus, even if I fail, it would be better for me to do it since I recover vigor quickly. But where's the bowstring for this thing? I'll fire it, since you're a recovery magician. It would be better if you don't use your vigor for this. The reason I've been carrying this around is because I can use it. But I can't fire it in my current state. Wait, Ron, don't tell me you're... No, no, I don't mean for you to go that far. It would be better if I... Ron? Maybe. It isn't a coincidence that, that I lost that power when you were born. Your father wants you to be a magician, but your abilities aren't quite up to it. When he was alive, your grandfather used to say... Stay away from the Nastika. Don't let them seduce you. Don't lend them your power, either. He always said that he was raising me on his own. Ron, my mom said she hopes you won't do that again. Not only could you, loot, could you use your life, but there could be an even greater punishment waiting for you. I thought you said that your mom was used to this kind of power... Used this kind of power lots of times before. Not a lot of times, just a few times for your father when we were little. Then, I'll use it for Rana. What is it that you only take after the bad things about me? Ron, what are you doing? What was that like just now? I've never seen Ron let his hair down before. Why did he just let his hair down? Letting his hair down isn't the problem. Can't you all see that? Where? What do you see? Ron. There's no telling how much my lifespan might decrease if I drag this out. I don't have enough vigor to attack several times. <sighs> I need to gather all of my vigor and end this in one strike. 
What was this now? What a joke. What does he expect to do with an attack like that? He could at least be accurate if he's not strong. Hmm? You idiot! Got Harvey's gonna save him. Run. Run. Ron, what have you been hiding? Wow! What, what's that? It looks like an attack from the sea, but... For the shockwave to reach all the way here... I don't know what it is, but Mar Maruna might be in danger. Should we go help him? Please say no, I don't want to die again. Ignore him. Right now, this is, the mo this is more important. Why should we worry about someone... Who chose to dive in there by himself. It would actually be better for us if he were to go and get himself killed for his arrogance. When we've or we've achieved our when we've already achieved our goal. Since we'll be back to being enemies once we're done cooperating anyway. Well, that's true. Then where are then we're already now? I hope we won't have any regrets. A certain god, Badanama. Part 2, episode 163, Your Justice and Mine, 29. Do you see that man sitting by himself in the center? Not very clearly. Do you mean the man wearing something like an armored helmet? Yeah. As you'll be able to s tell from the situation around him, he's the leader of the mob of Sura. The superior Sura that attacked your village was simply following his orders. He's the main invest instigator behind it. So, if you just kill him, not only will you be able to get revenge, but you will even stop the Sura from achieving their goal. Now, do you understand what the responsibility that you have to carry out is? This way, you can both you can have both revenge and the honor of having saved the planet. But it's extremely dangerous. When Saha died, it became a matter of time until the Sura reached their goal. So if you don't kill him with a sort of return before then, it'll all be over. Then you shouldn't have harmed Saha in the first place! Then I wouldn't have had enough power. Before I entered this fight, I had to kill one more person to boost my strength. Why do I- why do you try so hard to boost your power? You could have cooperated with Saha. If you had told Saha about this plan of yours, he could have cooperated with you. Why did you have to go and- it was so far as to kill it as killing someone. If I had done that, then it wouldn't have been me who wins in the end. If only one intermediate goal is in common with you, my ultimate goal and the values that I'm willing to forsake in order to achieve it are all different. You may not care if you die for someone else's sake, but I do. I have a goal that goes beyond mere revenge, and in order to achieve it, only I have to survive until the very end. It doesn't matter what righteous the mean how righteous the means are. Whether I kill Sura or humans, I don't care as long as they're not a part not part of Rao's family. If you didn't have the last name Lees, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had to bother with you for so long either. The warmth they occasionally used to show it. That warmth that very occasionally used to show itself among her countless blunt statements. She's probably actually a good person. The faint affection that gave me this endless faith was never directed towards me. My life is worthless to her. She would have killed me in a heartbeat if I weren't Rao Lee's daughter. When I think back on it now, there's no reason that Asha would show affection to someone like me. It was strange for me to have accepted that. Asha, I'll just ask you one thing. Was this really the only way? Didn't you consider looking for a better way where you wouldn't have, wouldn't have, where you wouldn't have have to kill people? Have you ever even once thought that the path you were taking was wrong? Never. I'll kill a hundred thousand people if it means that I can have the last laugh. That's. My justice. Your justice is mine, it's the name drop! Roll credits! But that isn't your justice. Sacrificing yourself for the greater good. Didn't you say that you didn't care about that kind of thing? 
Obviously, you should just stop arguing with me and help me kill that guy. Isn't that so? Having seen through her thick shell, she was so different from what I had imagined in my own mind. For some reason, I actually laughed. Did you just laugh? You laughed on the day you lost all of your village, too. <laughs> I get like this sometimes. Anyway, so what do I have to do now? For now, it's impossible to jump right in to all of those superior Sura. So we just have to sneak in through the passage behind him, sitting behind where he's sitting, and kill him alone. Whether we succeed or fail, Superior Sura will all rush at us right afterwards. I don't mind dying. There are friends I would like to see first. This is how um, Yuta's going to get free of Sagara's shackles. There was a pause there because I thought of making a comment. If you guessed what it was, type it in the comments. You get a cookie if you get it right. You stay here and guide and guide so that no one disturbs me. And no one comes this way. Eat them all up. Just like you've survived so far. Well done, staying in your human form when two gods have been summoned. You've sure got guts. Have you decided to get yourself killed? God Harva! Why do you look so young? There's no time to chat. If you want to live, get away from this place right now. Get far away from the snake's base and out of the firing range of the gods. It would be perfect if you ran away from Calabloom. If you ran away- If you ran away to a round Calabloom, sorry. Then hide yourself in human form if you keep getting involved here. You'll, un you'll end up dying no matter which side you're on. Why would you show up all of a sudden to tell me that? If I intended to save myself, I wouldn't have come all the way here. I just want to find my siblings and return to the Sura Realm. Do you really think that he's going to keep that promise? He's the one who tricked me into coming all the way here and then abandoned me. What on earth do you trust about him so much? If he really intended to keep his promise with you, someone should have shown, showed up to help you by now. But no one has come. If you have half a brain, then think about why that would be. You're going to be enemies with them once your brief cooperative relationship ends anyway. Now, that they've gotten what they wanted, they probably just want you dead now. Correct. You're already a useless nuisance to them. Then, help me, God Harva. There's a companion of mine. Yeah, she's firing from orbit. In space. Samfadi. A stage 5 Rakshasa. She was also cooperative with the snakes, just like me. But right now, the snakes have forsaken her. If I leave her like this, she may end up dying in an attack from those gods. I think there's a misunderstanding. Maruna. I'm not from the Garuda clan. The only reason I saved you just now is because you're my friend's son. There's no reason for me to save Arakshasa, whom I have never even met. But Samfadi is one of the only two five-stage Rakshasa in the entire Garuda clan at the moment. Akasha must have sent Samfadi here knowing that there's obviously nothing in the human world that could possibly... that could pose a threat to her if we lose a stage five Rakshasa like this. It would be a huge loss of power for the Garuda, Godhava, if only for the sake of the clan of your friend. Please save Samfadi. I understand the situation, but I don't have any strength right now to go all the way into space and fight. I'm not asking for that much. I'm just asking, just help me deliver a threatening attack against the city. If you do that, then Samfadi will be able to survive. I think, judging from the fact that the next episode isn't titled Season 2, it's simply titled Punishment, I, I think this will be the last chapter of, season, of uh, this arc. Even if it's not, we'll probably end here and say Punishment the next time. Or maybe we won't. Ooh, maybe, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <sighs> are you, Ron, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
I'm just a bit tired. That was amazing, Ron! Judging from the way you completely stopped the attack and the Sura who's attacking and the Sura who was attacking is gone. It looks like you vaporized them. Well, did you didn't initially think that, Roche. Why didn't you use those abilities of yours before? Yeah, there it is. It uses up part of his lifespan. What's wrong with that? After all, you can save so many people. Isn't that right, everyone? Just hold back, Rana. I actually want to curse her, but I don't have the energy to do so. Don't allow the city to get damaged, Maruna. Stop attacking as soon as there is only one layer of the barrier left. And wait for the other barrier to be restored. This is my condition for helping you. If you make a mistake, I won't see you again. Alright. Part 2, episode 164, your justice and mine, 30. I've just realized, I've, I've done, this is like the 11th episode today. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna be a bitch to edit. I'm probably not going to get additional music for this, I really should, it just enjoyed the same, like, forced BGMs playing over and over and over and over and over and over again. Ah, well, what's wrong with you now? You're worrying about them is exactly what they want. No. This time, it really is dangerous. Three layers of the barrier just broke just now. Thankfully, the first layer recovered immediately. But it's in, a, but in its current state. It's only a matter of time until all four barriers are penetrated and the city is attacked. <sighs> That's why I said it would be best to it would be best to hurry and get rid of that Sura and come back. No, at this rate. The risk of Brillis, di Brillis dying becomes too great. Hey, Agni. I'll go back and strengthen the barrier. You go with Kasak, Chandra. Right now my firepower is weaker than Kasak's. Whether weak or not, without you... Whether weak or not, without you, we don't have enough firepower to safely kill that level 5 Rakshasa. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's impossible. It's better than leaving the city to be destroyed like this. It may be tough. But I'm counting on you. Ah, Agni. Don't push yourself too hard to concentrate. Now that I'm here, there's no way the barrier will be complete will be broken completely. You can attack the enemies after Chandra and Kasak get back. Save your lifespan. Godhava. I figured that. The barrier could only be destroyed that easily with your help. But now that I know that you're attacking the city yourself... It's such a shame. While all the other gods had given up on you. I was the only one who believed in your potential. I found it. It's right over there. Where do you mean? I can't see a thing. I can't see anything with my eyes either. I just found it using my sixth sense. It's to stop moving, but it hasn't stopped its cloaking. So we have no choice but to just attack in the direction that I installed the that I installed the amplifier. I like Bhavati Chandra, which only amplifies the power of magic. Chandra's amplifier also applies the power of transcendentals. It will get really tough when it wakes up and starts moving around. That's why we needed Agni. We had to give him as much damage. Had to give as much damage as we could to this firepower before it could move properly. Aren't you going to use cloaking, Chandra? You are the god of darkness, after all. Vishnu sealed off that ability of mine. Why would Lord Vishnu do such a thing? <laughs> Lord Vishnu. Only a small number of people would know, know the truth about that insane god. I assume Ash is one of them. I'll tell you if we manage to kill that Sora safely. Anyway, I'll keep its eyes closed while it fights. To avoid my insight. It'll keep my yeah, blah, blah, blah. So its attacks won't be accurate. After the after damaging it with our first attack, it'll probably fire at random, since it doesn't know our position. Then, you have to attack it in the direction that I installed the amplifier while avoiding its attacks. Easier said than done. You're not scared now, are you? No. The only thing I fear is my father. Ah, right, I understand completely. 
Well, anyway, I finished installing the amplifier, so we'll attack together when I count to three. One, two, three! You're on your own now. On my own? That's right. This place is far away from Aer the Aero Plateau anyway. You can use the Kubera magic, and that bracelet lets you regenerate yourself, so you won't be killed right away anyway. I'll start. I'll watch the situation from behind and use magic as soon as you see an opportunity. Cut off his head with the Sword of Return right away. No matter what happens, you must not hesitate. Remember, I'm sparing you because you're Rao Rao's daughter, but, as but only as long as you don't get in the way of my goal. If I see any sign that you're going to mess this up, I'll kill you right away and finish the job myself. Got it? If you don't understand, I get it, so don't worry. This is the end. The rotten path I've been walking this whole time has all been for this moment. The outcome was already decided from the time that a god who, could see, who, can, who can see the future promised to take my side. This is my victory, Gubera. Chapter 31. Justice. Your punishment, your justice and mine, end. Next chapter, Loser. Next episode will feature the past stories of three supporting characters, and this chapter will be continued the week after that. Well, I think we'll save punishment then. Right, this has been a long, nearly two hour long video. I know that that's a lot. And those of you that watched it, I'm eternally grateful. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Animosity. I'm not going to break it down. I'm going to keep it in one one block. Even though that's probably worse for like YouTube bullshit. But I, I don't care. This is going uncut. I'm not having my reaction be interfered with. Enjoy it. But anyway, with that out of the way, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I hope to catch you all next time for another video. A ta-ta. For now.